Today, we are playing Ticket to Ride Europe. So, when we first learned to play this game, it was a little bit different. So, it has changed kind of throughout the different printings. The board is quite big, so you will need to have um, a large table. You can get different uh, boards. I believe there's an American one. I believe there is, uh, trying to line this up here a little bit. So this is the European one. This is the one that we played the first time when we played with family. And so this is the one that we felt most comfortable adding to our collection. Uh, as much as we love board games, we really do. We're not uh, big on expansions once we have a game. Unless we really like it, like Catan, we don't collect all the ticket to rides. Um, we're just not big on expansions just because we'd rather spend our money on, on new games. Uh, so you can play with up to five players. Each player gets trains. Trains go on here. Building paths. So if you need to get from, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say the names right at all. If you need to get to we from Wien, Wien to Berlin. One, two, three. Okay. So there's different paths that you can take. You just have to build from city to city. Each player also gets three train stations. So let me bring out a different color here. So let's say yellow needed to get from Berlin to Athena, okay? And let's say, for some reason, all the Athena entrances were taken. Okay, so let's say they're all different colors around here. What yellow can do is put their train station here at Athena, and that means that yellow does own as well as blue that line. So that means that yellow would have Athena to Berlin. Simple as that. If you don't use any train stations, you get bonus points. Uh, we'll help you, we'll do the counting at the end. Like I said, you can play with up to five players. The scorekeeping is around the board. So that's kind of unique. Every player just gets a little marker. Start it over in the corner at zero. And you work your way around. You get points for every path that you make. So this one is three trains long. So I would get four points for that. This one is one train long, so I'd get one point. Blue here, four trains long, so you get seven points for that one. The other way to get points is by getting the paths. Grab these here. So this is the goal of the game. So if you have this card, you have to build a train path from Budapest to Sofia. And if you connect those two cities, you get five points. Every player starts out with three of these short paths plus one mega path. So worth 21 points, but you basically have to get across the whole board. You build the trains by collecting colored train cards. So as you can see, this was a green path. So in my hand, 
I would have to have three green cards. I only got two here, but find myself another green one. There it is. So I'd have to have three green cards or you can use these locomotives and those are wild cards. In this one, there are tunnels. So you can tell a tunnel from a regular path by the black outline. Okay, so let's see, where's a good example here? Right here, there's blue, but it's a tunnel. So if I need that, I wouldn't just need two blue cards. If I wanted to build there, I'd say, I want to build on this tunnel. And from the draw deck, another player would flip over three cards. And if any of them are blue or locomotives, it will cost that many more to build that tunnel. So it's at minimum gonna cost two blues. So let's see how many more. One, two, three. None of them were blue, none of them were locomotives. So therefore the tunnel only costs two blue cards. You'll watch us play it for the first couple rounds and it'll make more sense. On each turn, you can do one of three things. You can draw two cards. You can lay down one path. Or you can draw supposed to be upside down or you can draw three new tickets root tickets so you can do that as well all right so like I said it'll make more sense as you watch us play it through bonus points the person with the longest train route at the very end gets a bonus 10 points so we're going to set up and we'll walk you through the first couple rounds. All right, so we're all set up. Mom's blue, dad's red, rider's black, Lily is yellow. So the train cards, those colored ones, each player will start with four cards. Okay guys, take your cards from the table. Then, over here as you can see, we have one draw pile. And just so that everybody can reach. Um, we make two draw piles, so we just split up the cards. And then what you wanna do is you're going to have five cards. One, two, three, four, Five. Now, the reason it's like this, so you can either draw one of these flipped up cards or you can draw blindly from the pile, from one of the draw piles. All right, I'm just gonna move the board here. Whoop, wrong way. There we go. Board there, okay. I have separated the root cards into the long roots the blue ones, and the short roots, the brown ones. Each player gets one mega long root. Then each player, and they can look at those, then each player gets three of these short roots. One, two, three. The long roots, the rest of the long roots, are placed out of play. The short roots can stay next to the board. Right there, you can see my hand in the corner. Now, each player now has four roots. One long and three short. They can dispose of any of these roots that they wish. But they must keep at least one. 
So I'm going to give everybody a chance to look at their roots. And so what you're looking for, so I'm going to, I'll give up. I don't, I don't mind. So I am looking, my super mega root is Palermo to Moskva. So it kind of shows you where it should be. Palermo. So there's Palermo here. And Moskva is going to be, where is it? Moskva. Right here. <clears throat> so you can see from dad's finger to my finger, that is my mega root. Okay. I like to keep my mega root, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. You have to keep the yeah. mega root? Okay, so that's, that's my bed. You have to keep your mega root. It's the other ones that you can get rid of. So my strategy is then I look at my mega root and then I look at my small roots and I go, okay, Zagrab to Brindisi. So Zagrab is right there and Brindisi is right here, right here. They look close, but there's water in between. Okay. But it's kind of on my route from Palermo up to here. So I would keep this one. This one is London to Berlin. It's way over here. I'm going to discard that one. It's nowhere along my mega route. So I'm going to discard. This one is Zurich to Brindisi. There's Zurich and there's Brindisi. So again, I'm going to keep that. Okay, because Brindisi is one of my other... And I just have to build over to Zurich. So I'm going to keep that one as well. So I have three that I'm going to start building towards. Okay. Lily's discarding one. So now I'm going to look for my mega from Moskva to Palermo. Through I'm, Remember, I have to go through Brindisi and get to Zurich too. You do not have to build your trains in order. If I want to start here and then build here and then here, I can. Okay. So you have to collect the cards, the colors that you're going to need. So to get to Zurich, I'm going to want to go in this way here, going in through green. That's going to be my quickest route. So I'm going to want to collect some green, maybe some black, white, gray means you can use any color. They must be the same. So, but you could use two pinks or two reds, or two blacks. All right. I'm going to want some orange, a oh, big tunnel that I got to get across here. Okay. Now don't worry if somebody cuts you off. That's what the train stations are for. So I'm going to go ahead and go first. Remember, I had mentioned that you can do one of three things. You can draw two cards. You can lay down a track. Or you can choose more train routes. Don't choose more train routes until you've accomplished the ones in your hand. Just kind of a, a thought there. So, of course... I can't build any train track with this. So I'm going to go ahead and start collecting. And I'm going to take the two greens. One, two. And then we're going to replace those. Now it's Dad's turn. <clears throat> Can I have the two oranges, please? Or two of the oranges. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to kind of hold it right here. I don't know what Ryder's going to do, but there is a locomotive. Remember, that's like a joker, the wild card. If he chooses to take this wild card, that's all he gets. You get one card. Okay. Now, if you choose a wild blindly from the draw pile, you get a second because that's kind of a luck. But if you choose a flipped up wild joker locomotive, that's all you get. Okay. Go ahead, Ryder, it's your turn. And he's going for it, so that's all he gets. Pass it over. Lily went for that one. So now it's my turn. 
So you know what I'm going to do? There's that tunnel situation. So it's outlined in black. I have three. Let's see what my luck is. You guys, I'm going for a tunnel. Rider, flip me three. One, two, and three. Are there any greens or locomotives? No. So it only costs me two cards. So those cards automatically go to discard. Dad can take my two as well. And that's my turn. I got rid of my cards and laid down some trains. Dad, it's your turn. Um, I'll pick an orange and a gray. No, orange and a random. Get yeah, get me a oh. And that's right, you can choose one from here that's face up, and then you can choose blindly from the draw pile. So Ryder just pointed out it's easier. You don't have to because you can count later, but it is easier to keep track. So because I made a train of two, you look at the chart, you move two points. So Ryder moved me. Point there, Ryder. He moved me ahead too. Awesome. And it's good to just help keep track. You don't count these points, the roots, until the end of the game. Whose turn is it? Ryder, is it your turn? Go ahead, buddy. I count them at the end, and I get them, I just count them. You can. You can count your roots as soon as you get them. Just make sure that you you're doing... You only the... get to count all of yeah. your points once. Just so. count it once. That's that's the biggest thing. What are you doing, Ryder? Building to S... Well, no. That is not my destination. Oh, can you move that one so I can show? So as you can see, it's three. He used black. Or what color did you use? Green. green. He used green. But this one has a train on it. That means it must be a locomotive wild card. So that's his hand that he's going to discard to place that path. You can pass the discards to Dad. He'll keep them over there yeah. to shuffle. Go ahead, Lily. Lily's drawing. Okay. Again, I have nothing, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. I'm going to grab a black. Flip that over. And you know what? Let's go with the. No, let's go blind. Ooh. All right. Dad? Too blind. Let them go. Two reds. You want both reds? Yeah. Oh, now they. Oh, no, no, no. You can take the blue. That's why it gets flipped yeah. over right away. Okay. No. Okay. Go ahead, Lily. Draw your second card. Pick a locomotive. Oh, you picked up a locomotive. Didn't see that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Discard two black trains. Or two black cards. And build me my next path. Thanks, Ryder. Dad's turn. I'm just drawing two from there. Ryder? Lily? Okay, I'm going to draw from the draw pile. Okay, Dad? He's drawing from the draw pile. Ryder, drawing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that white, flip that over, and I'll take blindly from here. Okay, Dad. Take the orange. The orange. And okay, Ryder, Lily, okay, Dad, 
Yeah, go ahead. Regular old train. <clears throat> okay, and I will point out see, some of them have double trains, double paths, like what Ryder and Dad built on, and some of them are single, like what I built on. If you're only playing a two or three player game, only one of them can be used. Okay? Um, as soon as you're playing with four, opens it up a little bit more. You done, Lily? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am going to use three whites and a locomotive. And I'm going to go down to Palmero. Going in. Discard. Where's your discard pile there? Just here. Okay, I'm going to okay. build again. Oh, and I built a train of four. So can somebody move me ahead seven, please? Can I have the white, please? Head dead. And sometimes you might have to take a look at your uh, roots more than once. Can I get a pen Can you pass? I just I can't pick it up because I put it there. I can't. Oh. you lay down there, Ryder? Three. Three blocks. Okay. Lily, your turn. Okay. I'm going to grab a red. And I remember I cannot grab that wild card because I've already picked one up. So I'm going to go ahead and go blindly here. Right? Or Dad, your turn. Get in. Get so it's a pretty quick game. It's not, um, depends how many players you have and how new the players are. Um, if they really have to study the board, but it, it can go pretty quickly. Discard, huh? oh, I got it. Okay. I'm going to lay down two red cards. And build right there. Ryder, can you move me ahead too, please? Mm -hmm. Dad, your turn. Two. That Ryder? feels much better. This one? <laughs> oh, got those two? Really? Yeah, this one. Okay, I'm going for it. You're going for what? Where are you going here? Okay, so Lily is going for this long path here, and she's Please. using green. It's worth 21 points. Because it's worth 21 points, and she's using green, so I'm going to flip over three cards. One, two, Three. Ooh, so she needs to one add more. one more green or locomotive, which she did, and she now can discard. claim the longest route there. These ones are discarded. If she would not have made that, she would still get to keep the cards, her cards. But she's building, so they're discarded. My turn. All right, I am building two whites. Here, it's good. here, Ryder, can you move me ahead too? I have to my own discard. I'm shuffling them all. Ryder, can you move me ahead too? And now, with that road, 
I completed Zagreb to Brindisi and Zurich to Brindisi. So I've completed those. So I'm going to keep them in front of me faced up so everybody can see what I've completed. So Ryder, do you want to keep track while we play? Points are on the board. Yeah. Okay, so can you move me ahead 12? And if we're going to do it that way, I'll go ahead and just throw these out into the discard. Okay. So now, remember my big one, Palmero to Moskva, way up here. No. Oh boy. Did you go? finish? No, you go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. <clears throat> I'm just... Then just the way you're... No, I'm just trying yeah. to figure mm -hmm. out my route here. Okay. Can you give me a hand though? Can you give me four blue? Okay. Oh, I see. You got that, Lily? Okay. okay. Ryder, your turn, bud. Ryder? What are you doing now? Ooh, he's going after yellow. Can you flip one over there? I'm going to go ahead and take this blue. And then I'll go ahead and take a blind one here. Oh, that wasn't good. Go ahead, Dad. So, you know what? I think we're, we're going to end up red. speeding it up because I think we've kind of done everything that is a possibility. Again, I'll just remind the stations. So, let's say I needed to get into Frankfurt. Okay. Let's just pretend I have these two here, but I need to get into Frankfurt. I would take my station and I would put it right there. That means I now own that black route as well. All right. So just to show you how the stations work. Play this for dad. Right your turn. And yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and speed it up. Let's see who wins.
so we're just almost done here. The way the game ends is when one player has two or less locomotives left in their pile. So dad has zero. He used up his last three. So that means Ryder, Lily, and Mum each get one more turn. So go ahead, Ryder, do your last turn. And Dad can start counting his tickets if he wants and move himself around the board. Mom has been counting her tickets as she plays them. So you can see, Dad, can you point where Mom is over there? Or Lily? So Mom's there. She's been around the board once already. So her score is 116. Whereas everybody else is back here. But they haven't counted their tickets yet. Ryder, what are you going to do on your last turn? Well, I need two more. Well, you can only get one more turn. Okay. What are you going to do? Use up my thing. We're black. You going to lay down a train? Yes. Okay. Lily, what are you going to do on your last turn? Can I help you put them on, Ryder? Where do you want them? The black train. Here? Okay. And then Mum's last turn. I don't even know what I can do here. Well, you know what? I'll lay down this train. Can you move me up four, please? One, two, three, four. I'm going to go down here. And Ryder, can you move me up four, please? Okay. So now what you're going to want to do is make sure that you've counted every route that you've played. And then you're going to count your tickets and move your markers around the board. So is this your final score? You didn't go around the board. No, you're just, okay. Oh, you were adding up your roots, okay? Can you move me to 85 and then minus 21? 85 and then negative 21. So that's going to be 64. Okay. Did you for sure get the longest? I think so. So Lily got longest route, so she gets an additional 10 points. Did you go all the way around? Oh, you, you want to see my tickets? No, not you even. You want to see them? And I might even have the longest route. I don't think so. No, you don't. Definitely not. Because you can't count the stations there, dear. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm just going to do. No, I don't. Then. No. Yellow definitely does. Ryder, did you go around the board? No, so you just got the 64 points. Ryder struggled trying to get some of these roots finished here. He just... Got a little crowded in the middle, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so Ryder did not go around the board, so he got 64. Dad got 152. Mum got 120. Lily got 112. And then, of course, you get plus four for every station you have left. So, Ryder, you got three stations left. So, you get 12 points. So, he jumps up to 76. Did you count your stations, Lily? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I got really lucky with tickets. This ticket is this little train here. Every All these tickets fell into this section here. Oh, that, yeah. I was really lucky. I started out, I Those thought I was going to do bad, yeah. but as I drew, I drew tickets twice, extra tickets yeah. twice, and every time I was like, that's perfect, I already have it. Nice. So, okay. Okay, so I've never dad got, ended up I've winning. I've never gotten that. We've never that's, had that's this ridiculous. high a score playing game. Never. No. Usually, it's between the 80, it's in the 80s up to 110. We've never been this far past 100. So that's Ticket to Ride, you're up. Good game. Good game. 
old family favorite. So keep playing and have fun.